sold, profits pocketed by cities and towns, even private companies. It's known as equity theft. And now a judge here in Massachusetts is making it clear it needs to stop. Five investigators Karen Anderson has been working to expose the impact of this practice since last summer. Karen joins us right now. This is a major development, Karen. And Anna Maria, it's been nearly a year since the U.S. Supreme Court ruled equity theft is unconstitutional. And now this order from a judge in Springfield is bringing that ban home. I was ecstatic. A major victory for this legal team who have been fighting for elderly and low income residents of Massachusetts who lost their homes after falling behind on their taxes. Cities and towns would foreclose on the properties, sell them and keep the profits well beyond the taxes owed. Municipalities are on, they're on notice that what they're doing is unconstitutional they have to stop. This case involves a woman from Springfield who fell behind by $2,000 on her taxes, which ballooned into $17,500 with interest. The city was in the process of foreclosing on her home, worth more than $200,000, to then sell it and keep the profits, something Massachusetts has allowed for more than 100 years. In his order, Superior Court Judge Michael Callan wrote, the law was unconstitutional, further stating the statutory scheme in its present form is untenable and requires legislative correction. My reaction is that it's long past time uh, for a legislative solution. Most states in the U.S. have solutions, but here, despite the U.S. Supreme Court ruling last year, several bills filed on Beacon Hill and a call for action from the Attorney General last summer, still nothing from the Massachusetts State Legislature. There's lots of things that could help people stay in their homes. Those tools and resources need to be available to municipalities. And the city of Springfield did not respond to our request for a comment. Live in the newsroom, Karen Anderson, 5 Investigate.